My name is Konsta Punkka. I'm a Finnish wildlife and adventure photographer. And today we are in Kuhmo in the eastern Finland. I'm mostly focused on capturing very intimate and very tight portraits of wildlife. I love to capture the soul in the picture and spend time with the same animals. And through that I can capture the secret world of the animals. The biggest thing about wildlife photography for me is to have the correct mindset. Sometimes the nature gives and sometimes it doesn't. You need to calculate where the animals move and you need to spend a lot of time finding where the animals walk or where they nest. And through that you can spend a week or two with the same animal and that's the key to success on getting wildlife portraits like I do. It of course means that I spend a lot of time in the nature by myself. It's just me and the camera and the situations that I capture on the photos are something that might happen just once in a lifetime. And it's definitely just a few seconds when you have to nail the shot. You can never predict where the animals will be. It does mean that you always have to cope with the current light you have. And it's always moving the situation, so you need to be always ready with the gear and be ready to get the shots. Further north you go, more time you have with the golden hour light. When you go in the middle parts of the world, the light changes from sunrise to harsh light quicker. So I like to photograph in the north you don't need to think about the backlight so much. Often the animal portraits need a soft light in it, so it's actually sometimes better to have a cloudy day. So you don't have too much contrast in the ice and stuff like that. So for this shoot on my camera bag, I had two bodies, I had my Z 7.2 camera as the remote controlled camera to capture wide angle lens close ups of bears or wolves that could walk by. And then, plus that, I had a second body in the hide with the adapter and the 400 millimeter lens for tighter portraits and getting some action photos. So now we are on this uh, lakeside and uh, we are trying to capture the wolf pack now around here. So I have set up the remote controlled camera there as well get some uh, wide angle shots. Sometimes in the area you can check with the bird if the wildlife is around. It's for sure bears and some wolves are already in the area. So it's now just a matter of time. I hide the tripod so I put some camo stuff on it but then I leave the camera visible because the animals knows the area or the environment and then might just come around and be curious what it is. When I take the remote control photo, I still want to be the artist behind the photos and be there in the moment and capture the shots. So using the cameras on silent mode without any shutter sounds, it's, it's amazing. And that's when the snap bridge with the Bluetooth connection and the Wi-Fi connection is perfect. So the 14 to 24 mm f2.8 Z series lens is what I have been now using in my remote uh, controlled camera setup. Because it's a 2.8, I was able to capture throughout low light situations. So for example, with the bear, I used the 14 mm to get as close and as big the bear as possible. But with the lake side, for example, I would probably use 24 mm uh, to capture more of the detail on the landscape. When you are photographing uh, close to the lake, uh, you can check out the reflections differently. And uh, I often choose the trees that I want to composite with the uh, bear or wolf beforehand. Because now I'm shooting with the 7200 lens and uh, the bear often is so big, so anything longer than that lens doesn't work. So with the 7200 I can get the bear in the landscape and the reflection as well. When I spot 
animals for the first time, I often start with the 7200. I observe them from further away and see how they move around. And then I can be in the setup and either take it with the 70 millimeter and have the animal in the landscape, or then I can put the 200 millimeter and then 2.8 aperture and take super tight portrait already. The 50 millimeter lens is the one that I use in the city. It can be very dark when the animals are the most active. So then using the street lights with a high ISO or wide aperture is very important. And then I have the 400 millimeter lens with the adapter on the camera that I use to capture the shy animals. If I need something to be extremely sharp and detailed, it is the animal's eye, because that's where the viewer's focus always goes, and that's always the main thing about the photo. On this location, there's a lot of trees in between the swamp area and the height, so the focus can be tricky between the trees. I most of times might use the single point, single AF focusing. I'm focusing all the time to the subject, but now I also use the continuous focus mode and it really felt super fast. There might be sometimes uh, very quick action moments. So then I often switch to the 10 frames per second burst mode and try to capture as much as you can of the actual action. To have a camera system that's reliable on these conditions, it's crucial to have a good battery life. A camera that works in dark conditions, in cold conditions, sometimes the moments come super fast. There might be, be no time to change cards, so to have it already uh, doubled up in the camera really helps. Today was uh, such an amazing day. I was uh, a bit overwhelmed in the in the end, like how much uh, uh, amazing animal encounters and how everything lined up perfectly and how how good uh, images turn out. So it's one of one of these uh, good days in the office when I uh, remember like warmly and try to have the right mindset that. Uh, stuff like this that uh, can happen. The feeling when you actually nail the shot is something that is hard to describe, so that really keeps me going throughout the night. I have seen a lot of wildlife photography and often it's very documentary style. For me, when I capture the eye contact in the photos, it sort of brings the animal to life. When the animal looks at you, it reacts to you. So the eyes tells the story. That's the main thing in my wildlife photography.